Hello, I am Chris Menard. Let's go take a look at protecting cells in Microsoft Excel. Let's dive in right now. So I have this current worksheet running and I have some formulas down below here. Quick review, you can go to the formulas tab and hit show formulas to see them. I don't want someone to delete my formula, then email me and say, your formula doesn't work. It doesn't work because they deleted it. So I want to protect my formulas. I also want to protect everything in column A. All I want users to change is possibly cell B2 to cell B6. So to do that, it is a two-step process. First, you're going to right-click and select the cells that you want people to change. So I've already highlighted them. Go to Format Cells. When you get to Format Cells, you've got these tabs running across the top. Make sure you're on the Protection tab. Everything in Excel by default is locked. So you want to unlock the highlighted cells that you want people to change. The second step of this, it actually tells you the second step right in here. We're going to go to the Review tab. So I'm going to go hit OK. Review tab, the Protect group, hit Protect Sheet. Click OK. Now that I've done that, you can only change what is unlocked. The locked and protected cells can't be changed. So if I click over an A2 and try to type in a different country, I get an error message. If I click and try to delete one of my formulas, I get an error message. But I can change this number 60 and B2 to the number 70 with no problem. Perfect. Now, the only issue is going to be Someone that knows Excel will know to go to the Review tab, and instead of saying Protect Sheet, it is Unprotect Sheet. So if they click it, now I can delete and change everything. So when you go to Protect Sheet, you can put in a password just to test this. I did cat, all lowercase, type it a second time. Now it is saved, and here you go. Unprotect, you need the password to get in here. I have RoboForm working. Don't worry about RoboForm that's popping up there. One other tip for you about Protect Sheet. When you come in here and hit Protect Sheet, you may want people to not be able to select your locked cells. But let's add one more additional optional step to this before I turn this off. I'm going to hit Cancel. I like to frequently highlight what I want people to change or what they can change and then put it in a fill color. So on the Home tab, find something you like. There you go. Now go, and we're going to turn on Protect Sheet. I'm not doing it, but I'll put in the password. I'm also going to check, uncheck, select lock cells. Now you can't even click on my formulas or on any of the countries. Click OK. Try to click on A2. You can't. Try to click on the 240 or the 48. You can't. But you can click up here and again, change these numbers to whatever numbers you want them to be right there. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is part of my Excel online training course. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring the bell. And of course, have a wonderful day. Thank you.